Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 344 of One Piece today. And this previous one was quite good to make us understand more about the situation. So we got to learn about um, the guy who's uh, like stealing these shadows around this place. And uh, it seems that he is actually a warlord. So that was uh, quite a revelation. And uh, his name is um, Gecko Moria. And this is quite interesting because... Um, we still don't know much about uh, some of these warlords, so it's going to be really nice to get to know more about this specific one. But uh, at the same time, this is quite dangerous for the Straw Hat Pirates, so hopefully nothing bad will happen to them. Um, but yeah, I really can't wait to see what exactly uh, this um, Gecko Moria is uh, capable of doing, other than uh, stealing uh, these uh, shadows. And uh, I am assuming that uh, he is the captain of um, uh, this crew. So this is um, this is quite something, and uh, I'm definitely so curious about uh, a lot of these things. Um, and we also got to meet uh, this new girl. So she is apparently called Perona, and if I'm not mistaken, she is made of um, these um, ghosts that were wandering around this place. So that was uh, quite something to see uh, her like being formed. And she looks quite good. I'm actually liking her appearance um, and also curious to see what she's uh, like able to do. So there's um, lots of things that um, we still have um, to learn about and mostly like some of these guys' powers. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting to see these uh, next episodes to find out more about um, this whole uh, situation. And of course, I'm still really wondering about Brook. So uh, hopefully they will also touch this um, issue at some point. And I'm sure they will, but just don't know when. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens right now. Just really can't wait to dive into this uh, next episode. So with this, really hope you guys are ready. And let's start it. There's also this night raid, so... But yeah, this guy being here... Gecko Moria. That means that if they defeat him, all of these people will probably regain their shadows, right? Including Brook. Yeah, they wanted to help him. And here he is, so... That's kind of convenient, even though... Not going to be easy to defeat this guy, that's for sure. <laughs> and then who's up? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I guess this doctor is uh, part of their crew. Also crazy to know that this is like a giant pirate ship with uh, this village in the middle. Thriller Bark. He's always excited to, to do it. Yeah, they need to be careful. Oh. 
What is that? Yeah. Yeah, this. Hmm. I wonder if she was... Oh damn! I love the plates. I wonder if she was his wife. He's here as well, so... Dragon? Hmm. Okay then. Like everyone instantly eats on Nami. Okay, that sounds a lot like. Is that actually him? I was about to say he's just really saying the same things as Brooke. And then he said that. <laughs> and they even showed the kick. Yeah, exactly. What is going on? His loves. General Zombie? Okay then. He just went past them. Okay then, it's definitely the time for that. I wonder... Hmm... Wait! Holy! It's like he left the attack there. And after a while they felt it. Damn, so he actually attacked them. Holy... That's really not good. Five hundred and eighty-one. Yeah, it was really fun so far, but 
I know, it's becoming a lot more serious. Probably still going to be a lot of fun moments, but definitely escalating. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> He really has no sense of danger. Yeah, about that. Well, you knew what happened there. <laughs> Are they going to see the other painting? Well, yeah, about that. This guy <laughs> doesn't even care about Usopp and Chopper. That's really mean. That one is still there. <laughs> well, let's see the reactions. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> They're not even impressed. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> yeah, these zombies are going to be like... Not zombies, but like these, these creatures are going to be like... Oh! <laughs> this Robin. Get that noise. Yeah, this is really different from before. <laughs> well... Man, this moment... <laughs> Just having a lot of fun. Oh. Sure. <laughs> it could have been part of their crew. That would be funny. Yeah, that one is done. So are the others. And they... They keep having the idea that these guys are going to be just the same as the other three. Nope. <laughs> oh no. Why just what is the number? 298. It's something I'm really loving about this. How they show the side of like Nami Chopper and Usopp just running around and these guys thinking that they are just like really weak and stuff. Because they're really scared. And then they think Luffy and the others are the exact same, but <laughs> they recently get a surprise. Not this guy, though. Oh. Holy... Okay, that looks really disturbing. Inside of a coffin. Man, that's a place you really don't want to be. In. I mean... Man, really hope... I get some help because it's looking so good. 
Yeah, there are so many of these to deal with. They're all coming. What is that though? They're carrying something. Yeah, sure. They're definitely going to believe that. <laughs> oh, yes, Sanji. Crazy. Yeah. Hmm... They're up to something. <laughs> I mean, they already did. Man, these guys... I'm still worried about Sanji, though. <laughs> this guy... Zoro doesn't give... a crap about him. Yeah... <laughs> They're not even paying attention to him. <laughs> Laughing. Okay then. Yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. Hmm. Oh, damn. Alright then. Now they are scared as well. I wonder what happened with him. <laughs> Their tour guide. They surprise all of the surprise zombies. <laughs> that's quite the achievement. Oh, that's one of Sanji's cigars. I wonder. Hopefully he's okay. What is it? Really? It's one of those like disco balls. So this is the night raid. <laughs> oh my god. There's even a song about this. Zombie night. Man, this is... Oh 
Okay then, <laughs> that was something I never saw coming. And this is so crazy, that's for sure. Oh, there's more of those. Oh, there's more coming. More general zombies. Damn. They're like the other one before, and it's incredibly strong, so... It's four arms. Holy... These two, though, they're so adorable. Holy... Are they really inside of there? I mean, we know that they were inside of a coffin, but... That's really bad. Damn, this whole situation, it's just becoming... It's like I said before, I mean, we keep seeing some of these really fun moments, and in the end, a lot of these guys are just so much fun and like the whole situations uh, they create are just like really hilarious um but uh, at the same time we can see that um the like it's becoming uh, more serious with every episode so at some point um, th there's going to be some more tense moments and i mean this episode already gave us uh, some of those uh, like when um, that guy uh, attacked nami chopper and usop and uh, like at first, it really seemed like uh, he didn't attack them, just went past them. But uh, it's like he... I didn't really... Like, I don't know how, how exactly to explain it. And I don't, like, um, quite um, remember how, like, uh, they said it. Um, but it's like... Um, after he does his attack, uh, he can, like, take three steps. And then only after some seconds, uh, the ones he attacked uh, feel the attack. So... It's uh, quite something, it's um, quite an interesting uh, move and it just shows that these uh, general zombies are like a, a big threat. And uh, now there's even more coming, so that's uh, quite scary. And um, like Luffy and the others are probably going to have a lot more trouble from now on. Uh, and there's also this situation with Sanji, so it just went uh, missing out of nowhere. Like uh, he was fighting alongside his friends just now against these uh, surprise zombies. And then suddenly he was missing, so don't know what happened uh, with him, and the zombies were laughing at it, so they probably know what happened. Um, but yeah, let's hope that uh, he's okay and that they uh, find him uh, as soon as possible. But uh, I'm really worried about uh, Nami Chopper and Uzo, because they got uh, like defeated by this, uh, by this general zombie before, and... Um, they were like put inside of this coffin so uh, i believe um, i don't know if that coffin that was like uh, hanging uh, if it was um, the one uh, they are inside or if it's like um, a, a different one but i want to believe that's actually the one so that's uh, quite scary and hopefully something uh, will happen to prevent them from being like a sacrifice for like something for like to be given as sacrifices uh, to gecko moria um, but yeah, there's uh, like still a lot that uh, we need to um, to learn about, and uh, like there's this situation with this general zombie, and um, he was saying the same exact things as Brook. So I don't know why that is the case, and uh, this goes back to how like uh, he had the same love and everything. This guy just feels like really similar to Brook uh, in um, every aspect except uh, his appearance. So. 
I don't know what exactly is going on, but uh, hopefully they will um, mention something more about the Brook and uh, also show us uh, what exactly is up to since we haven't seen him uh, for a while. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, we also got to see like this um, this song or something like. I was wondering about that thing they were carrying and it's apparently one of those disco balls so they apparently just put their like that thing in the air like some ow and then they all started singing so that was quite funny and something I was like not expecting at all uh, but yeah it's it's like I say they create a lot of funny uh, moments with these zombies and all of the other ones but then again, it's becoming a lot more serious, so I'm becoming um, a bit more worried about this whole situation and uh, hopefully they will be able to like uh, solve uh, all of these, like uh, defeat Gekko Moria so the other ones can recover their shadows and uh, that way they would be free to like be hit by the sunlight and uh, like go wherever they want. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens, definitely can't wait to watch these uh, next episodes. So, with these, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.